to everybody, be blessed and stay phenomenal. You know, it's 6 a.m. and this is something that I do and God's put it upon my heart to to go online and go live with uh, the prayers that I normally do at home by myself. So we're going to get started. Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you, our omnipresent, our omnipowerful Father. We, we thank you because there are so many different things that could have occurred, but our, our, our eyes, they, they opened. Our lungs, Lord, they, they filled with air. Our minds, Lord, our brains, our spirit, they are in connection, Lord, with you. And we, we thank you for these things because they did not have to occur. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this is another day that we can give you praise. We can start the day with giving you praise, Lord. Because if we start the day in our mind, in our spirit, and open up our mouths and vocalize these things and open up our ears and, and listen to these things, Lord, then we know, Lord, we are in tune with you and we thank you for that. We thank you for that syncopation. We thank you for it. We, we, we thank you for the relationships that we have with you god i it, it's it's so important and i don't take it for granted lord and i know the world does not take it for granted though we feel others do i can't look at it in a negative capacity lord i have to see things the way that jesus saw things and if jesus were to see the world as a place that could not be saved then Jesus would have never died, Lord. Jesus would not have died. And there wouldn't have been as many martyrs as we've had, Lord. So that tells me that this place is worth saving and praying over on a consistent basis. Our brothers, our sisters are worth praying over on a consistent basis. And I don't mean DNA, genetic brother, sister. I mean, God's DNA, genetic brother, sister, this entire world. I pray for the entire world, Lord, that we find peace of mind, healing, Lord. I ask for this prosperity, Lord, of a spiritual proportion that has nothing to do with what is on this earth. Yet while I am on this earth, Lord, I ask that you be magnified, that you be glorified, that we find a way, Lord, that we can illumine your light as one race, God's race, the human race. These things I pray for on a continuum, Lord. And I thank you for the capacity to be aware that I need to pray. And as I pray, Lord, I give you praise. As I pray, Lord, I affirm the things that you have said that you're going to do because you have said and you have done. You have given, Lord, and yet you have not taken because you cannot take. Even when someone passes away, Lord, they don't die. Jesus told us these things. They don't die. The spirit is within housed in a flesh as a human housed inside of a car. And Lord, I thank you for that capacity to understand that. And I bless others and I pray for others that they may understand that when they deal with loss, when they deal with a tragedy, that we are forever shifting and changing our age never stays the same, Lord. It shifts and it changes, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord. Uh, we don't look the same. We shift and we change, Lord. So I ask that we be aware of the changes that are consistent in life and consistent in this world, Lord. And I ask that the Holy Ghost move upon us, Lord, and fill our spirits up beyond the level of a mustard seed in faith, 
my father. For that is just the start, the mustard seed faith. But I ask for the level of faith that can carry us to a whole nother proportion. That can carry us as one race, God's race. That we may love each other. That we may heal each other. That we may be there for each other, Lord. I pray these things, Lord, on a daily basis, and I won't stop, my Father. And I thank you for it. For I'm bold enough to speak out, and I am bold enough to say the things that I need to say. As well as others are bold enough to speak out, and they're bold enough to say the things that they need to say, Lord. And I thank you for that. For there have been many people in my life that have pulled me to the side and steered me straight. I thank you for that, Lord. And I thank you for all the things that you have given. And I ask that you bless this world, Lord, in, in so many different ways, Lord, because there are so many different ways that blessings can occur. And there are so many different blessings that people in this world need, Lord. But I ask that you do it, Lord, for you're the one that can do it. And I thank you. The hours of prayer, you can read it in many books in the Bible. 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., midnight. It's in the Bible. And it's in many, many other books, too, as well, that were written by prophets that didn't make it into the Bible. So take it serious. Start your day off with affirmations. It's easy to start the day off with gossip. It's easy to start the day off with random news but it's usually filled with negativity and in the morning time you're in a rush you have places to go things to do some of us have children we have to get to school so to start your day off with negativity on top of having to get your mind focused is not the way to do it if you start your day off early slow down and work under God's speed, which is not always fast. It is not always fast. Look how long this planet has been here. Look how long this universe has been in existence. And we're finding out we have multiverse. Think about these things. God loves you. Take your time. Love yourself. Love your family. Love your friends. You have one life to live and make sure you live it up to the fullest. God be with you. God bless you. Plan strategically for your life or your life will strategically plan for you. I'll talk to you all later on today.